my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, like many of you are, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Row Gal. And it's a Monday, which means it's grocery haul day. I'm excited for today's haul, which we're going to get into in a second. But I like to kind of download you guys on what's been going on around here the past couple days. Uh, you know, not as in-depth as I normally go in like a what I eat in a day video, but I like to keep y'all in the loop and that's what I usually spend the first five minutes or so of my grocery hauls doing. If you don't want to listen to that, it's okay. There's always a timestamp down below in the description box if you want to jump straight to the haul. So we, whoa, this week flew by. We got back from vacation on Monday, which really ugh, kind of set the tone for my week in terms of like Tuesday feeling like a Monday and then I had to go grocery shopping on Tuesday. It was like, it just kind of effed with our entire week. Um, Daisy's had a really rough week. She, um, she's just been extra whiny. She's been having like not crazy meltdowns, but meltdowns here and there, which is, is really unlike her. She's not really like a meltdown kid. I don't know if it's kind of just like the post vacation, like let down if you will, or, um, if it's just like a phase she's going through right now, I'm not sure, but it's, it's kind of been a rough week. Um, she was at my mother-in-law's Friday night. Like she didn't go over to her t over there till like 6 PM. And then she stayed the night and she was there all day yesterday, which was really nice for Cernan and I, uh, to spend some time together because frequently my mother-in-law takes her, takes Daisy a lot. And I, I shouldn't say a lot. She takes her like maybe every other weekend overnight which is so nice. Um, and usually Cernan and I take that time to do chores. We clean around here because it's just easier to do without a toddler or we get work done. Cernan, you know, works on his coding stuff and I work on YouTube stuff. And this weekend we, we didn't do any of that. <laughs> we decided to spend time together. We went shopping, we went to lunch, we binge watched some shows and it was just really, really nice, especially after kind of having a hard week with a cranky toddler. So enough about this past week. I'm just hoping that this next week we can get off on the right foot. Um, and we'll be, we'll be a little bit more back to normal. So I'm hoping that for Daisy with her schedule being a little bit more like the huge, um, that that will affect her, her attitude, <laughs> her behavior. We'll see. Uh, anyways, today, I'm filming this on Sunday, but on Friday, I threw up a poll on my community tab asking you guys where you wanted me to shop. And that came out of pure indecisiveness on my part. I couldn't decide where I wanted to, to get groceries. I was either, I was going between Grocery Outlet and Trader Joe's because I have not been to Trader Joe's in a hot minute. Uh, but y'all know I love a good deal. So I really wanted to hit up Grocery Outlet again. So I threw up a poll. I think I listed like five or six stores. I was checking it to just see, you know, what, what was the, um, in the lead, but I didn't like officially decide where I was going to go until literally this morning when I got in the car. So I'll throw up the screenshot. I think I took it at like 10 20 ish, uh, and Trader Joe's won. So that's where I went today and I really wanted to go there. So it, it, it worked perfectly, but I also think it's just good. You guys are watching it. You're the viewers. Like I'll shop. Y'all know I have my favorites, but I'll shop anywhere. Um, and so I think it was also just really cool that like I went somewhere that you guys seem to be interested in that you want to see a haul from. So um, I hit Trader Joe's today. And it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was so fun because guys, I have not, I don't even know. I would have to scroll back through my videos and figure out when the last time was that I did a decent grocery trip from Trader Joe's. I mean, I have popped in in the last couple of months to get like wine. I bought my mom flowers a couple weeks back from there, but like I haven't done a haul haul in a while. Um, so I'm pumped on what I got. I'm even more pumped on what I spent. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys my list. Of course, I will show you everything I got and then tell you no, tell, tell you no, tell you no how much I spent. Um, I will let you know how much everything cost. All right, here's my list for the week. This list just looks so sad. Um, we have a lot of stuff in our fridge and we have a decent amount of snack stuff, keto snacks in the pantry. So I didn't need to go ham this week on groceries, but anyways, for dinners, um, a jalapeno popper casserole on Monday. I'm actually making that tonight and then we're just gonna have leftovers tomorrow. Fathead pizza and salad, chicken and veggies. Um, we're doing, Dis we're going to Disneyland on Thursday, so 
not anything. Um, steak and veggies on Friday. And then this um, Saturday is just going to be something out of the freezer. I think I have two frozen, um, like, meals that I, you know, there were a lot of leftovers that I froze, so I haven't decided what that's going to be, but um, that that's what we're going to have on Saturday. So we have um, produce, what is this, aisle stuff, drinks, um, meat, dairy, frozen, and then down here for lunches, I'm just doing breakfast burritos again. I had eggs and sausage left over from last week, so I just froze them, so all, literally all I have to do is wrap them up in a tortilla. Speaking of tortilla, low carb tortillas were the only thing that I was not able to get at Trader Joe's. Um, Cernan's gonna swing by Target for me and pick those up, but otherwise this entire haul is all from one store. Can you even wrap your brain around that? All right, let's go ahead and jump in and start with um, some produce. All right, produce. I picked up this bagged salad. This is the Southwest Southwestern Chopped Salad. It is seven net carbs, I love it. Um, it's seven net carbs and I leave out the tortilla strips, so it's probably even less than that because I'm not consuming those. It has pepitas, it has cilantro, it has a spicy dressing. I love this stuff. Um, then I, I really have been wanting to eat more veggies. Um, so I picked up some sugar snap peas, some bells that I'm going to cut up, and some cucumbers. I'm going to like meal prep, for lack of a better word. <laughs> All of this stuff, I'm gonna portion out everything, slice everything up and throw them in little baggies so that they're just like ready to grab and grow and go in the fridge. Uh, and I got some strawberries for the miss. On to dairy, I got the larger size uh, heavy whipping cream. I, I have been buying like the little, small little like pink cartons and it just, they never last. I We do have some half and half in there but I've been missing my heavy whipping cream. So picked that up, got some eggs. I picked up two of these. These are the um, just the salami and provolone cheese snack packs. I just grabbed two just to have in there to change up, you know, the snacks that are in there um, right now. And then I picked up some dips to go with all of my veggies. So I got this bacon cheddar ranch dip. Uh, it's y'all. It it's a laundry list of ingredients. Okay, um, but macros wise, see if I can get this to focus. There we go. It is two net carbs for two tablespoons, um, 90 calories, eight fat, two protein. I've had this before. It's delicious. I have also had the caramelized onion dip, which might be like one of my favorite dips of all time. Um, their caramelized onion dip is legit. And then I was like, I want to get one more so that we're, you know, not just, I feel like I could get easily bored with this. Um, so I'm like, I want to pick up one more. And I saw this. It's everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip. Um, so it's uh, Greek style yogurt with sesame seeds, sea salt, um, poppy seeds, garlic, and onion. All right, so macros wise on this one, we're looking at two tablespoons, 60 calories, five fat, um, two carb, one protein. So I'm excited to try this. I feel like this is gonna go really good with um, something a little bit more on the plain side, like the cucumber. Um, I'm really excited to try that. So that's all the dairy that I got. Then on to meat, I picked up bacon. Y'all know if you've if you've been here a while, this is my favorite bacon from like any store brand anything. It's the uncured apple smoked bacon. It is so delicious. Picked that up. Some turkey breast for Daisy. Although Cernan and I will probably munch on this a little bit too. And then I really splurged. This was a splurge for me. I got two. Um, filet mignon steaks. I have a marinade that I want to use that I got in that uh, world market haul I will throw that in the cards if you haven't seen it. These were 1567 um, And this was kind of one where I'm like, you know what? That's pricey. I'm gonna throw it in my cart I'm gonna look at everything else I picked up and if I think I can afford it I'm gonna keep it and I thought I could afford it. So I got it. I'm really excited for these We do not eat filet mignon like ever. So it's definitely a treat and I'm pumped um, this is obviously not a like consumable item, but I got those uh, Trader Joe's cinnamon whisks. These are basically just uh, for decoration. They smell 
next level they smell like cinnamon um i picked up one last year i went back the next week to grab another one and they were all sold out so this time i picked up two i'll probably put one in my pantry maybe one in like my closet or maybe downstairs by our entryway they smell so good and they really scent like any area that you put them in so i grabbed two of those these are 99 cents by the way all right on to drinks i got some apple juice for daisy some bubbles for me y'all know it's not a trip to trader joe's if i don't come home with some type of like prosecco or champagne sparkling water and then this almond cashew and macadamia nut beverage i'm experimenting with a like another starbucks but make it keto recipe and i'm going to use this for it um aisle items i got these for the miss these are cinnamon apple snack sticks um these for us i we love these i love the texture of these they're super crunchy we just ran out of our moon cheese i should have grabbed more at costco when we when we went the other day but i didn't so i picked these up in lieu of that olives for snacking these are black olives for the fathead pizza uh two of these peanut butter fudge power crunch bars similarly to these just to kind of like spice things up just to have you know we have built bars in there but just to kind of for the change of pace thought i would pick up two of those and then i got this i'm so intrigued by this i fell down like a google slash youtube wormhole of like keto friendly trader joe's products and most lists that you come across have the same products. You're like, oh, I've seen that, I've seen that. Well, one of the lists I came upon had this, which I hadn't seen anyone talk about. So this is crisp bread. It's Norwegian crisp bread. It's sunflower seeds, oats, sesame, and flax. Um, like, And then they turn it into a crisp. Now, this is the gluten-free one, and it's mu much more carb-friendly than the, like, gluten one the one that has gluten so for one cracker it's three net carbs which i thought was fabulous i plan on making some tuna and having this like in lieu of a cracker y'all know i love my tuna melts but i don't like tuna with veggies or on a salad like you know what i like tuna with a ritz cracker like that's how i like my tuna a club crack on a club cracker or a ritz cracker and I'm, I'm curious if this will give me kind of that that same satisfaction so i will definitely keep y'all posted on these these were pricey these were like 4.59 and the regular ones like the not gluten-free ones were like 2.29 or something so i'll keep y'all posted on that and then lastly our freezer stuff i got some cool stuff in the freezer section so pancakes i picked these up before um for daisy and then i got this for cernan and i it's the rice cauliflower stir fry we've had this many a time it's delicious you got peas in there red peppers corn tamari onions sesame oil and ginger so it's kind of like an asian take on rice cauliflower and it is delicious some new things to me i got these mashed sweet potatoes for daisy i have picked up their mashed cauliflower before in the freezer section which comes packaged very similarly so there's i mean you can't oh well, you can kind of see them they're like rounds essentially like they're frozen little like pucks in here and you just saute them until they melt down and get warm it's so easy it's a great veggie option for daisy and literally the only ingredient in here is sweet potato which which we like now this really piqued my interest because i love i used to make these all the time i love i'm probably gonna butcher this shakshuka shakshuka um i love this i even pre-keto i would make this um essentially it's tomatoes and peppers in kind of like a stew consistency and then you crack eggs eggs into it you can easily make your own but i just thought this was really cool that it's like a little starter kit it was 1.99 which price wise i thought was fabulous and then if you are curious about macros um we are looking at they this is pretty cool they give you per serving and then they give you per serving plus one egg so i guess we can look at that one 150 calories eight fat um it's 11 carb and two fiber so nine net carbs and then eight protein this it's a little higher on the carb side there's no added sugar it's the, just the sugar from the tomatoes um and the peppers but i am really excited to try it and just to kind of work it into my day and by work it into my day i just mean i'm I've always paid attention but now i'm paying more attention to um you know if i plan on having something higher carb for dinner kind of tailoring the beginning part of my day to fit that so that's nine carbs a serving so 
probably that day I will skip out on having one of my low carb tortillas or something else that's like a higher carb item um, so that I can fit that in. It's doable. It's completely doable to consume something that is um, you know, higher in carbs. That's like almost half my carbs for the day. You just got to be aware and you have to remember um, to kind of count those you know, carbs prior to eating that. So that's just a personal thing that I am, I am currently working on. Um, but that's everything that I got from Trader. Oh, I also got flowers. I got some pretty flowers. I have like my fake fall flowers in my, uh, little like pitcher jug thing over there, but, um, I wanted some flowers for like the actual like kitchen. Um, so that was everything that I got from Trader Joe's today. You wanna know? You wanna know how much I spent? Which I am very happy with. I spent a hundred dollars. It was like a hundred six a hundred dollars sixty-five cents. I am more than happy with that considering those crackers were higher up there um price-wise and the filet mignon. Like that taking out the crackers and the filet alone would have shaved off 20 bucks. Um, so I am more than happy with that. It felt really good to get back into Trader Joe's again. And um next time I go, I kind of want to take my time a little bit more. I was a little bit rushed this morning. I want to take my time and really scour and look and see what things I have missed in the past like couple months that I haven't been shopping there. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me get the hair out of my mouth. <laughs> Subscribe if you're not subscribed and drop me a comment down below. What keto friendly things are you loving from Trader Joe's lately? Um, or what keto item did you pick up in your grocery haul this week that you are just pumped about? Like this gets me excited. Like I'm really excited about this. So if y'all picked up something that you're equally excited about, let me know, let a girl know. I'm always in there in the comment section. You guys know this. Um, yeah, so this, you're seeing this on Monday, Wednesday. I have a collab video going up that I'm pretty excited about. And then Friday will be a what I eat in a day video. Um, so I will see you on Wednesday with that collab. Bye friends.